Hello. Wake up, it's almost lunch. Uh, so I'm Marcy Harris, co-founder of Popbox, and I am a recovering congressional staffer. Uh, Popbox was built to help empower people uh, to effective participation, specifically with Congress initially, and foster accountable, responsive governing. Uh, and the, my true confession is we built it to solve my problem. So I was a congressional staffer. I was on the receiving end of tons of input. And what I learned is that members of Congress truly want to hear from their constituents, and they don't want to hear from the whole internet. And that's what was happening in 2010, was an absolute barrage of input coming into Congress, and no way for constituents or members of Congress to know if it was truly from a constituent, or even if it was truly input from a real person. So that was the problem that Popbox was set up to solve. Professional lobbyists know this. They focus laser-like on the issue they want to change down to the specific language in a bill, whereas the people usually are reaching out with general asks, save the whales, don't raise my taxes, don't tread on me. Uh, so Popbox was built to address this, starting with bills, allowing organizations to come and add their positions, endorsing and opposing, and allowing citizens to come and add their comments, which we deliver to Congress in a structured way that can be processed very easily by their congressional systems. Uh, some examples of organizations that use Popbox for their advocacy are small health-focused organizations, uh, larger groups that reach out to uh, their membership. This was the Airlines for America that ran a campaign. You may have remembered last year, there was a, an attempt by the FF FAA to cut the hours of air traffic controllers as a part of sequester. This was a campaign that ran on Popbox, and within a week, Congress had passed a bill that would remove the sequester as it related to air traffic controllers. Uh, Penny for NASA, you may have heard of, was an online advocacy effort that came out of the, the speech that Neil deGrasse Tyson gave about what would you, wh what would you, how much would you pay for the universe? And they've used Popbox to organize their effort uh, to have uh, a penny of the federal budget go to NASA. And Popbox provides an ongoing record of public sentiment. So as we all remember the Sopa Pippa advocacy of many years ago, on Popbox you can actually go and read what people wrote to Congress and see district by district uh, the record of what they said. We're officially integrated into several congressional systems, including the House Democrats intranet Demcom. Uh, we're also cataloged by the Library of Congress, so it goes in there as a part of the permanent digital archives of the United States. And we're building civic infrastructure. We want to work with other developers to make sure that we fit as one piece of the puzzle of this civic tech world. And soon, we'll be innovating your state, coming in January, Popbox, California. Uh, and uh, we have a lot of principles behind the way we conduct ourselves. I won't go through them all, but the main point is we believe that civic tech works when civic techies work together. So we're excited and honored to be in the room with all of you and look forward to talking with you about partnerships and working together in the future. Please see Kelsey and Jenny and me across the street. Thank you.